Hey everyone, a quick video about energy storage, which I think might be an emerging topic for investors for Tesla as well as NIO and here connected to China because China aims to add 160 gigawatt of wind solar capacity in 2023. So many uh, don't really know that actually China is leading in um, the build out of capacity for renewables, um, although of course they're also building unfortunately fossil fuel um, energy um, uh, generation as well. However, um, they're not only producing all of the solar panels, but also lots of um, actually built out of energy generation in this area. So um, as we know, usually what they are trying to achieve in their uh, you know, five year plans and so on, they are going to execute on. And so, um, yeah, the news here is that um, they have um, around 65.7 gigawatt of solar and 2025 gigawatt of wind that were deployed in China in the first 11 months of 2022. And the National Energy Administration um, said now that large state owned enterprises will help the nation to reach the target for 2023. All of this is embedded in the long term strategy of China to uh, develop their grid over time and also the build out of um, renewables. If you want, let me know down in the comments if that's of your interest. I can dig a little bit deeper into uh, such documents here that are you know uh, pointing out uh, exact plans for this going forward um, but let's connect it to some of our investments here for example tesla of course is also busy in the area of mega packs and those have usually like a more of a b2b application of course they are you know really big three megawatt hours per unit um, that are usually um, deployed at such big industry scale projects that are helping locally to um, either store energy and then you know um, helping for example for production that they can um, have a reliable energy uh, but also um, other issues are for example um, that, uh, that the energy needs to be transported from a to b and there are issues along that way um, so this is where uh, mega packs can come in and help balance the grid and also um, really support such large industry applications and um, also in in order of the national grid this can be a very important puzzle piece in the end now neo doesn't have their own uh, business unit for selling mega packs but what neo has of course is with neo power their battery swapping functionalities and those state um, have now been upgraded to, uh, to the third generation um, platform or swap station and can hold up to 21 battery packs. So that's, well, in the utmost case, 21 packs, um, each 100 kilowatt hour, maybe the, the latest batteries in the future, 150 kilowatt hours. And so they can kind of act like a mega pack by themselves, right? Um, because um, those batteries that are sitting um, in this battery swap station can be charged and discharged now with this new technology here, a self-developed HPC bi-directional high power liquid cooled power module. So this one can charge and discharge and um, therefore um, you know fulfilling a similar capability here um, namely supporting the grid um, charging when rates are low discharging when rates are high so making money on the arbitrage here but uh, ultimately helping to what uh, china wants to achieve here um, to you know de deploy more renewables um, across the country and as you know neo has now uh, uh, close to 1000 uh, no more than 1300 swap stations across china 10 in Europe, I think um, soon enough uh, 20. And so both in China as well as in Europe, um, you have this um, the issue that um, the grid um, needs to be balanced and um, all of these countries are actually working towards such goals. So these are exciting, I think, business opportunities for both uh, NIO and Tesla there. And we should hear more about this in my point of view going forward in 2023. With that, I hope you liked this quick update. Thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video.